Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I opened it. Okay. So, everyone, listen. So, what do you do here? What do you get for this one? X. 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 Mm. Who got something else? One. Who got one? Oh, one. I got one. You said X. No, I was wrong. Come on. You just said X. Uh so the answer should be one. We're going to see how that is one. Can someone tell me how it is one? Yeah. X to the zero. Yeah. And how do you get a zero? You add n minus n and n minus n. Which law is that in the paper I just gave out? The first law. So the first law tells you when you have multiplication, you have the powers. If you have these powers, you get zero. Because when you collect the like terms, n minus n is n minus n is zero, minus n plus n is also zero. Does that make sense? And you get x raised to the power zero, which is one according to which law? Law number three. Law number three says that it's raised to the power zero is one. These are not the numbers like anywhere in the world. This is just a way of arranging it for this worksheet. So don't look for law one online or law two online. There's nothing like that. Okay? I just put it in that format. And this, is there any difference between B to D? Yeah. What do you notice? The brackets. Okay? So here, what happens here? What, why is it different from this? Because B only X is squared. Only X is squared. Yeah, but here, both the 3 and the X is squared. I mentioned that is one of the laws. Which law is that? That's law number 4. four. Law number 4. Let's read that out. When a bracket is raised to a power, it affects all expressions in the bracket. So, like this. So, which means this is going to be 9x squared, right? Yeah. Then you multiply by 4y squared. And what do you get? 36. 36x squared, y squared. And I think the law 4 affects this also, right? So, this will be open the bracket 9x squared times 16 y squared. And what did you get? 144 x squared y squared. I love this question. Your calculator is useless here. What do you get? 2 to the power of 2017. That's correct. 2 to the power of 2017. Ah, could you explain Justin? Well, first first thing I did was overcomplicate and make it Make it what? I made it end. End term? What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I like what he said. Like, I made it over complicated. So, did you like do 2 to the power 1, 2 to the yes. power 2, one fourth of them? Whoa, yes. that's smart. Anyway, who did it in a simpler way? He just said, I made it over complicated. So, yeah. is there anyone who did under complicated? <laughs> yes, sir. Let's start with you. Uh, a topic, oh, really? <laughs> is that what I'm asking for right now? Honest. <laughs> oh, uh, candy, Nelson, what do you got? He you made half. There's no half here. All right, Kelly, let's have yours. Uh, way of doing it. First, uh, you make one over four. You change it to four to the power of negative. Or you can write as 2 to the power of 2. So that's 2 to the power of 5. And yeah. 2 to the power of negative 2. That makes sense. So this is what she's saying. I'll put it here. Because someone is looking at like, What is she talking about? There's an old woman here looking like that. Yeah, but I'm not going to say the old woman. OK, so this is what we have. No, no, no. Please pay attention. This is the, the goal is to use law one, and law one says a to power m times a to power n is a to power m plus n, right? Of its times. So I need to get this is two to power twenty nineteen. I'm trying to make this two to power something. That's the goal. Okay. 1 over 4 is 1 over 2 squared. That's something you can do instead of 4 to the power 1. Okay? 
Then, look at the law that talks about a to power minus n. What law is that? Six. Six. So with that law, I can write this. Do you agree that this becomes this? Does everybody agree with that? Yes. So now, this becomes two to power negative two. You got law six. And understand what I'm saying. Don't worry, I'll review each of this law. I just want us to get through with this first, yeah? Yes, miss, do you understand what I mean by this? All right, so using law one now, what does it become? Negative two, followed by what? Two plus, plus 2019, and that's how they got two raised to power 2017. Okay? Any question? Last time I checked, yes. <laughs> Oh, Isaac, what is half of 10? What is half of 10? 5. 5. So that is half times 10. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I said last time I checked. It's probably overnight, everything changed, but the last time I checked, of means time. Alright, so look at this. I put some laws about powers. I think it's the last two laws. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I said whenever you have one end of something, that end is the root. Did you see that in law number seven? All right. So this is one over two. So what is the root here? What root is this? What? What root are we dealing with here? Two. Second square root. Right. So the square root of nine, and that's three. What? As simple as that. You are not even opening the law, so you wouldn't understand what I'm saying. I just said law six or seven. It's not even opening it, so you can't understand. So look at that law again. Whenever you have one eighth of something, all right, like one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, that tells you the root to find. Does it make sense now? So this is one over two. So that is the square root. One over three will be the cube root. Uh, one over four will be the fourth root, and so on like that. Does it make sense? Yeah. The next law says if you have a fraction, instead of one over something, if you have m over n, the denominator is still your root, and the denominator is the power. Did you see that in the last law? Yeah. And everybody look at that now. Alex, you are not looking again. And it's probably going to write a comment. My name was mentioned 10 times in this video. Next. <laughs> I replied your comments. <laughs> Anyways, so here, this is one of them. So what the last law is saying is this. If we have a m to power n, this is your root. And this is the power. Two things will happen to a. So it's going to be the nth root of a, everything to power n. So you can find the root first and find the power, or you could just find the power first and find the root. But in any case, m is the power, n is the root. That's what it means. So in this case now, which one is the root and which is the power? Root three is the root. Three roots? Three. Is that like three roots? Three is the root. No, two is the root. Three is the root, but what root is that? Cube what do we got? Root. So cube root. So that's the cube root of 27 to power what? Two. two. That's it. That's what the law is talking about. So you start with the bracket, just like Bidman's. Bracket first. I don't know why. That's unfair, right? Bracket first. So this gives you that. Do you agree? And the power is just waiting outside, like the rain. Come out of your apartment and I'm going to beat you. Something like that. So this is two. So this guy has been waiting. You know, just come out of your apartment. So the moment that dude comes out of the bracket, boom, like that. So just like your video game, boom, like that. Okay, this is another one. There is a law that talks about negative. Which law is that? Negative power? Negative. Can we read that law again? The description? When any number is flip, the power changes sign. So basically, is it that you flip to change the power or you change the power to flip? It doesn't matter which reason. Do you understand? 
I, they, uh, everybody please. We can work with positive power, isn't it? So we need to get rid of this negative. To do that, we apply that law, which allows us to flip if we want to change the sign. So, I still want to maintain my two, but I don't want negative. What I need to do is flip what I have here, three divided by two, that's it. That's what I say. What I wrote in there is this, a to power negative n is one over a to power n, right? A is actually a over one, so I flipped it two. Does it make sense? No. Then you can use which law talks about brackets? Uh, four. 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 Then by law four, this is that, and that is nine divided by four, like that. Who got that? Great. Which laws do you think we need for D in order? Which law do we apply first? Which law do we apply next? How many laws in all together? Six. Six laws? No, I mean, How many laws first? Let's start with three. Three, two. Which one? Three. three. Is anybody there to say one? Does we have three, two, the next one? one. Sit properly, sir. Three. Yeah, I agree. Two laws only. What is the first law to use? Six. 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 six seven. Which one? Six. Why six? Because the power is negative. negative. So you get rid of negative four. Is that law six? Yes. That's law six? Alright, All right. so if you get rid of the power, uh, if you make the power positive, what do you have in the bracket now? 27 over 8. So what law do we apply next? Now, we have to apply eight. 4. Eight. Are you sure? Oh no, 8. 8, sorry. 8? Yeah. Why 8? It doesn't look like 8 to me. Um, That's 7. Why do you get 8? What? Oh, it's one out of three, right? It's one out of three. It's not like two over three. So that is cube root, right? Twenty-seven out of eight. What is that? Something. Something really. By law four. Is it law four? Law four? yeah, law four. You find it. Both of them. It affects both of them. So that's three over two. So it's basically like three laws. This is so we use here the six. We use here the seven, right? And from here the four. There's three laws. Yeah, but you you don't have to call that last one. Though, anyway. It's obvious, something trivia that we all know before. Yes. Is it possible to make a question that is wrong or good? I'm not going to say yes or no. Does everybody understand what we are doing here? Yes. Jerry? Yes? Yes? Yeah, quickly. This one? Okay, check the last law. Law number eight. Check the last law. When any number is raised to power to power a fraction, you are not checking the law, you are staring at joke. For some unknown reason. When you have a power m over n, okay, two things will happen. You are going to take roots and you are going to take power. Okay? The root is the number at the bottom, the power is the number at the top. So, the root is 3, the power is 2. The root is 3, that's cube roots. The power is 2, that is square. So you start with the cube roots, then the square starts. Okay. Any other question? Are you punching? No, I'm just teaching, but it's just I saw you doing this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, -huh, I'm not uh, -huh, uh -huh. I don't do this when I'm teaching you, so I believe that's punching. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call the police on you. It's the first style of teaching. Oh, really? You can't learn anything You draw yourself Okay, so the last part of this activity is this. Does anybody remember this A part of the question? We've done something like this in class. 
I mentioned it like oh, as part of something. Uh, okay. uh, part of the, the I can't remember which topic, function. but something like this. Is it function? Yeah. So the idea is to have the same base. So you get 4 to power x minus 1, 4 to power 0. Do you remember this? So if you have the same base, then you can compare the powers. So what does that give you? x minus 1 equals 0. Then you solve. x is 1. Why did I write this? Because anything to power 0 is 1. Rita, any questions? No. Isaac? This is solving uh, initial equation. Uh, I'm still going to re-explain, but I'm just trying to explain this first, then I will try to. So basically, we are trying to have the same base on both sides. Approach it in a proper way. Just pay attention. So I can leave this as that. I need to have this. If I can have a to the power x, a to the power y, then I could say x is equal to y. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? So this would be 4 to the power 0. Because anything to the power 0 is 1, according to your 3 or 4. 3. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. So this is the same as this. Okay? Now, now that I have the same base, I can compare the power, then the powers must be equal. Okay? So if x minus 1 is equal to 0, then it's easy to solve x is equal to 1. So for all this question, the idea is for you to get to this point. This is your objective. Okay? Can we look at the next one together? Everybody, let's look at the next one together. 9x plus 2, 27. If I want to put it in this form, what must my A be? 3. Because if you look at 9 and 27, you can only put both of them as power of 3. Are we all listening? Yeah. Some are just minding your business. Alright, so if you want to put it as power of 3, how do I write 9? 3 squared, right? And I still have my x plus 2. You don't have to rush. And what is my 27? Elsa, are you sleeping? Can you see that? Now there's a lot that talks about when you have power inside and outside of a bracket of an index form. What law is that? Uh, five. Five. Five, five. So because of law number five, we're going to multiply these two, the internal one and the external one. And that gives three, two, x plus four. Does it make sense? Now it looks like our objective, I was saying, do you want to stand for a few minutes, just for your face to be clear? Okay, or you want to wash your face? All right. If you think you're okay, you can sit. Just to help you stay away. Does everybody understand that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can compare the powers because the bases are the same. Please, this must be one term, one term. You can have two, three, and compare. No, you have to have one, one before you do the comparison. Alex, are you listening to that? Okay, so with that, 2x plus 4 is equal to what? 3. Then you can solve. Did you get uh, minus half? Yes, that's minus half. The last part. There are, of course, more complicated equations than this. I just want us to start from basic one that I think we have an idea of. But obviously, some of us still have one or two issues with this. So I'll try to see what I can do to review this quickly. Uh, the last one says 1 over 27 times 81 x plus 1, 27 x minus 1. Look at that. We need to put everything as a power of what? 3. three. Also 3, right? So the first thing you do is just change the powers to power 3. Don't rush. Don't skip. Don't put 5 steps in 1 step. Okay? So what can I write first? Everybody. 1 over 3 over 3. 1 over 3 oh, over 3. 3 to the 3. Times. There's one and one person in the class, and I need everybody's attention. Please don't ask, oh, I didn't get that. I'm confused. You need to listen now. What is the next thing to write? 3 to the power 4. 4. X plus 1. And this will be? 3 to the power 3. Good. 
So, you notice we are going to end up combining this, right? Yeah. So it means this has to go up. Yeah. Just like which question? Just like which question? No, there's a question we have done that looks like that. Uh, question. C. Question what? No, 3C is the exact question. 3C is the exact question. Uh -oh. Question 1E. Okay, just like question 1E. So this is B what? Uh, 3 to the power negative 3. 3 to the power negative 3, right? And 3 to the power what? 3 to the power 4x plus 4. And this is? 3 to the power of 3x minus 4. 3 to the power of 3x minus 4. Does it make sense? Yeah. If you do not say something, you probably wouldn't know if you understand or not. Which is why you need to, you know, concentrate. So, what do we do next? Kelly, careful. What? Three to power of. Three to power of. Uh huh. Plus. Plus four. Plus. So we combine these together now. All right. So now we have just one three on both sides, and we can compare the powers. Yeah. You need to have one base on both sides, just one. Okay. You can't compare the powers from here. Please don't be tempted to. Oh yeah, I'm very fast. Try to. Take things easy. So if you compare both sides, this power is equal to their other power. So this power is 4x plus 1, am I right? Then 3x minus 3. So what do you get as x? Negative 4? Minus, minus 4. Minus 4, yes. Any questions? Yes. This one? First step. First step. This step? This one? Which three are you talking about? I mean, there's two, three, and three. Okay, here, then I have one. Yeah. yeah, go to the first law. If you have law one, if you have a to power x, a to power y is a to power x plus y. Do you remember this? So now this is my a to power x times a to power y, so I'm going to have one. Read the first law out. What does it say? What is the next word after that? Keep the common base. Keep the common base. This is the common base. Okay? And that's what we have done here. Keep the common base and add the powers. And that's what we have done. Any questions on this starter activities? Even though we did it for like a whole class. But I just wanted you to like try it on your own first. Do we want to use the washroom? Yes. 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 Alright. Oh. 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 Enjoy. Me? Oh. 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 Oh.
望住啊，望住，呢度都係景象房啊，有嘢可以玩，有啲好味，死啦！<笑><笑>唔好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。好。And this is a huge improvement. So well done. How much is it? Huge improvement compared to the earlier that we market. In terms of mistakes. Okay, Yango. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. I need to wind out. I think it's more from local life. Wind out. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi, Denise. How are you? Hi. 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 Together or low one, two, three together, something like that. So you are using a common approach. 